Hey fire signs, welcome back to your weekly messages with Pure Black Magic, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is going to be for the week of February the 12th through the 18th, give or take a couple of days. Uh, very general messages for my Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, so please do not force the message to fit, just take what does, and leave what is not for the next fire sign. All right, so let's hop into it. See what's coming your way, fire signs. What is it that you need to know? Clarity, confirmation, temptation tried to pop out here. So a Capricorn could be significant or there is, you know, someone trying to, you know, tempt you, trigger you, interfere with some sort of abundance because we have material harvest and we also have material and spiritual prosperity here. Um, I feel like you are, you're doing good, fire signs. I feel like you're looking good. I feel like you're in um, the energy of abundance here. So let's see. Quite naturally, there's going to come, you know, someone or something that's trying to interfere with that. Clarity confirmation. All right. Spiritual union is showing up here. We have choose wisely. It could be, you know, it can definitely be like an, an ex, an old person or something like that. Fire sign too. Like, I feel like somebody is trying to, um, to, to keep you locked in or to get you to, you know, submit to some sort of energy or to come back to some sort of connection or something like that. It could be a friend. It does not have to be like, um, a romantic interest. It could be anybody here, but I feel like, um, there's a choice. There's a choice between something old, okay. Or someone old or something that you're familiar with, maybe something that did not work out or that's not in your alignment. And there's also a choice towards your truth and what makes you happy. This positive movement forward is moving towards the sun. Okay. Um, your energy, Leo energy. I say it every single video with like fire signs and Leo always find a way to, um, to to kind of like show up in their own reading there's something about you like the light at the end of the tunnel okay or just to keep pushing forward i do feel like you're in a very good energy but it's you know you still might be a little sensitive a little vulnerable you may not be a hundred percent okay solid on a, a direction or a decision or you know the outcome of something so there's a need for you to um to keep pushing forward to not to look back here because I'm getting like a teeter totter energy like somebody is very tempting or very convincing um towards you guys this week okay rest and rejuvenate yeah movement choices and decisions like I feel like somebody is trying to maybe change your perception of something or change your perception of them um but we have the universe is showing up here and I think it was the earth signs that just had this in the same placement okay so you could be dealing with the earth sign or some you could have like a earth sign as your north node or um this is also balance this is also karma here Okay, there's something about choosing what's right for you, who or what's right for you, and it may not be, it may no longer be in alignment with who or what you're used to or you're comfortable with here. Um, there is some sort of breakthrough here. I feel like spirit is trying to bless you with some sort of abundant spirit is pushing you in, in the right direction or in a new direction. Um, but again, there's residual energy of a past something showing up here. We also have the waiting game, okay? Now, you could be contemplating on doing something, saying something, pursuing a certain goal or something like that. Um, something might not be ready yet because I am picking up on like I keep saying that teeter totter type energy. You have three twos here, two, two and two at the bottom. You have 20, which is the truth, wisdom, yeah, destiny, new beginnings. I feel like maybe you've been indecisive about something, fire signs, whether it's personal to yourself, whether it's dealing with someone else, you've been in between the lines, you've been, you've been in the gray area, you've been trying to figure out if you're making the right decision or not, should you go forward or go back? And I feel like this week you're getting a confirmation to like step through the, I'm getting stepped through the light, step through the light, okay, or step to the light, Carolyn, that can be significant for some of you guys. Um... It's like you can fall back into some sort of comfortability, some sort of cycle, some sort of relationship, some sort of connection, something that is not allowing you the space to grow or be your true self or be appreciated. Or you could go towards the new, even if you don't know exactly what that newness is. Um, but we definitely have destiny and then we have new beginning and the earth signs had this energy back to back as well. So, all right, fire signs, let's see. Let's move on to the love oracle, see what's going on with your relationships. Yeah, 222 could be a, a, a synchronicity. Signs and synchronicities is here, and we have 222, okay? 
um that's at the bottom of this license plate so i don't know maybe somebody maybe you're seeing this number maybe you're seeing it on an actual license plate okay maybe you're seeing it when you're around a certain type of energy or a certain type of person um but something here cannot be denied or spirit is not wanting you to ignore your intuition when it comes to a certain something or someone it is something dealing with like a partnership some sort of duality okay because that's what the twos represent also balance we got proposal here and we have ex-lover so i feel like y'all are trying to move on into a new energy something that's more stable more solid more in alignment more compatible okay you're trying to move into that energy um or this is what you're wanting to manifest or this is what you are manifesting or the energy that you're in but there is a broken person or a scorned ex-lover showing up here on your end or somebody else's end the ex lover card, you know, made its debut in everybody's reading this week. Okay, so it's something about the past that is like heavily trying to hold the collective back from, you know, persevering from what they deserve here. Divine timing, unexpected. Wow, and divine intervention, fire signs. And as you can see, it's hella fire here. Okay, so something here has run its course. The time is up. Okay. Um, or you thought something was in your alignment here with this divine timing, with, but with the unexpected, it's just giving like a, a sudden change of events here or something may have not gone the way that you thought it would go or it's not going the way that you, you, you think it would go this week, but it's for a reason. It's for your higher self. It's for your higher calling. You got signs and synchronicity showing up here again. Change. Yeah, there's something here. Something has run its course. Okay, maybe it's ended already, maybe it's ending this week, but you're getting a for sure telltale sign that it's time for change, it's time for something new, it's time for like a new, um, a rebirth, okay, some sort of growth, some sort of abundance here. Butterflies could be significant, the color purple could be significant, okay, that could be a synchronicity, okay, and we got regret here. Yeah, there's somebody heavily in regrets because I feel like, um, it's like spirit is moving you out the way, okay, or moving someone or something out your way, or spirit has already done that. It's like you cannot be touched or something, something, something cannot go back to the way that it was, whether it's you, okay, or you going back to a situation or a person here. And I feel like that energy is heavily in regret here because we have wedding, okay? Some of you guys could be married. Maybe you're getting married. Um, maybe what's, whoever is showing up in your your current or like your future energy there's the energy of like stability here okay the energy of of marriage with wedding here something is destined for you and i feel like somebody is already regretting that because they missed out or they're going to regret that um but yeah just it just feels like somebody did not do what they were supposed to do with their time or with your time or with your energy and now you're in or you're moving towards this very abundant solid energy with somebody here fire signs even if it's not necessarily this week it's like you're attracting this energy wedding mystery between the lines proposal single healing here but yeah I, it feels like you're being pulled in two different directions or somebody is trying to like you know sway you back into a certain type of vibe or energy lower vibration distracts you whatever it is for your signs but don't fall for it okay king of cups is at the bottom somebody could be trying to play on your emotion maybe you're very nurturing very giving here okay the eight of cups but no longer to the situation not anymore Okay, the three of cups here. Some of y'all are dealing with the water sign, hangman, Pisces energy, four of cups. It's all water here, okay? A lot of y'all have no, uh, uh, like you no longer have any emotion, okay? Or like sympathy or empathy for a situation. The eight of wands, it's like enough is enough. You're ready to be done with whatever this is. Um, you could have your eyes, your heart set on something else, on someone else. Yeah, ten of swords here. And we got the queen of wands on the other side of that, okay? Y'all are moving away from a very manipulative energy or somebody no longer has like control over you anymore, fire signs. Let's see, clarity confirmation for my Leo, Aries, Sagittarius this week, Holy Spirit. What is it that they need to know? This eight of wands popped right back out. Okay, so this is you making it out of something. It was not easy. Nine of Pentacles, it could definitely be like a relationship here or something that had a hold over you because Nine of Pentacles is very single, independent energy. Um, and we have the Eight of Cups, but I feel like somebody's trying to get you to come back, okay? Or something like that here. All right, let's see. The King of Cups showing up here again. 
Definitely could be dealing with another fire sign or a water sign. The Ace of Wands. Okay. And the High Priestess. Yeah, I'm getting like there's no... Um, something does not affect you the way it used to. Or there's no love here anymore. There's no empathy. There's no sympathy. This is you being in your higher calling here. Okay. Um, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Something is changing. It's shifting. This is a cycle though. And I feel like... Spirit is trying to get you to end some sort of cycle, okay? Or you already have ended this cycle, fire signs. You know everything you need to know. Not a pentacle, seven of cups, page of, page of cups. I feel like spirit is trying to warn you about a particular situation or a particular person. Use your intuition. Don't feel sorry for this person 